Moving on from that, government-owned Cushion Shipyard has plans to raise funds via the capital markets. But it seems its planned IPO will get delayed further because some of the crucial restructuring that it has planned. Archana Shukla explains. Government-owned Cochin Shipyard is working on a new face. In order to garner better investor response for its initial public offer, scheduled in financial year 2011, the PSU is undergoing a business restructuring exercise, which will see the yard with a renewed focus on specialized shipbuilding. Sources tell NDTV the yard is looking to split the infrastructure in five specialized business units, namely naval, offshore, small ships, ship repair and ship conversion in order to be a broad spectrum shipyard. The new IPO draft proposal will also project defence shipbuilding as a focus area. Industry experts suggest the restructuring exercise may delay the yard's IPO, which was initially planned in 2008 during the shipping boom, to raise 1,000 crore rupees through issuance of 10% fresh equity. With the changed business plans, a host of approvals will be needed before the issue can hit the market. In order to improve the quality and technology, it is necessary to specialize. So even in Cochin Shipyard, instead of doing all work together, if they can have these separate units and specialize in them, it will be generally good. They will have to uh, take care that duplication of resources will not take place across these units. The shipyard did not comment on the restructuring plans. But in an email response, a spokesperson said, the draft proposal would internalia address the issue of raising capital for the expansion and will be submitted to the ministry within the next three months. Experts suggest Cochin Shipyard's move indicates the lucrativeness of allied areas such as defence and ship conversion in the wake of changed shipbuilding market dynamics. Experts, however, caution. While increasing focus on defence orders, Cochin Shipyard should not lose out on its score, merchant shipbuilding. Because once globally orders start flowing, shipbuilding nations such as Korea, Japan and China will become more aggressive. And then Indian shipyards should be prepared to retain their share of global shipbuilding. In Mumbai, Archana Shukla, NDTV Profit.